Good morning once again to our viewers of Bears and Bulls. Once again, this is Emmy Pulido, your host for um, Rotary Service News. And for this morning, by the way, I'd like to greet everyone first. Um, Merry Christmas. It's December 22 today. And in just three days, we will be celebrating the very important uh, day in the history of the world. And that is the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And that's we celebrate the Filipinos and the Christians are celebrating that this December 25. So to all of you, Merry Christmas. So since uh, my segment is about Rotary Service News for today, my guest is the president of the Rotary Club of Taguig West. And she will very much talk about what is it that District 3830 is doing with regard to vocational services and the livelihood program that our district is doing to our community. So ladies and gentlemen, may we welcome my lady guest today, Miss Glenda Leiko. Good morning, Miss Glenda. Good morning, Miss Emmy. It's yes. nice to be here. You're and welcome. also, a uh, very Merry Christmas in advance to all of you. And to our beloved Governor, Governor Sid, good yes. morning. And to all the Rotarians, hello, good morning and Merry Christmas. So Miss Glenda, Rotary, for our segment today, because Rotary is doing a lot of services. We yes. have this, of course, um, vocational, vocational, education, and literacy, uh, water, health, hunger, and sanitation, and everything. No? So, and dami natin ginagawa. So, your particular um, area of risk, area of uh, focus mo is on vocational, vocational and livelihood. Right. It is because you are in the business of providing so livelihood, projects. livelihood projects like mm -hmm. why don't you tell us about that miss glenda well actually since i am a chemist by profession mm -hmm. and it is really my vocation to uh, to uh, make uh, other people happy with their livelihood projects especially mm -hmm. in rotary so i i decided to teach uh, some of our uh, members to do livelihood projects mm -hmm. like powder making perfume okay. Mm -hmm. colognes, uh, flower arrangement, mm -hmm. and other many projects that are, in, that are incorporated with being a chemist. So as a chemist, I understand you're running three companies, no? Mm -hmm. One company is, can you tell us your company and what is it that you're doing for each company? Uh, in my STWI, th that is the uh, staff that works in innovative beauty products. Innovative beauty yeah. products. Uh, it creates uh, a lot of perfume and cologne making, mm -hmm. lotions, uh, uh, spas, like a uh, foot scrub, foot lotion, mm -hmm. and uh, I am a trader in that part. Okay. Uh, so you're doing it for somebody else? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and then you, they just put some brand? Yes. Mm -hmm. Para naka outsource, like outsource to your company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then the other one, the Marley's enterprise it caters about the textile needs of okay. a certain company so it means uh, uh yeah yeah mm -hmm. so anything that they need for the for the clothes para, para for the parang, uh, the chemicals or the raw materials the the one that we are using okay. to be able to make a, a color or, or a dye or something oh, for the very, clothes. Oh, that's very oh. big business, huh? No, no, naman. <laughs> oh, that's simple one. That's nice to know. <laughs> then the other one is the soap it's manufacturing. The soap, yes, yes. Under the soap, of course, different kinds of whitening soap, mm -hmm. like uh, glutathione soap glutathione. and every other, okay. yeah, any other soaps herbal soaps everything so anything like wash dishwashing or hand uh, washing right yes, yes. Yan, no? mm -hmm. and then yung mga beauty beauty soap yes so how many years have you been doing this miss glenda President uh, glenda. <laughs> uh soap making was i started soap making uh, since 1993 oh. while the textile industries the textile chemicals that i'm doing mm. three decades now Wow. So it's a, it's been a very long time. So since you were very much single and very much <laughs> teenager, <laughs> you're into this. It must be something that was uh, passed on to you by your parents as a business. Uh, is it? Actually, uh, my parents uh, has another business. It's very different from my uh, business. Okay. Uh, but uh, since my father really loves me to do something to make mga timpla timpla, oh. so I have to follow him. So that's the beauty of being a chemist. No? So for our, I don't know if our viewers also have this, uh, 
children who are chemists, no? Yeah. So, malas, masarap pala yung negosyo. Masarap it's, na mahirap. Masarap <laughs> na mahirap. But how's the competition yeah. for the year? Uh, well, kind of uh, right now it's very uh, hard to compete. Mm -hmm. So, you have to research and research uh, uh, new products so that you can compete, the, especially the outside uh, okay. world. So, do you export? Yeah. Are ah, you export some mm. products already? So like what are these the like soaps the pers the beauty soap? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. So how many if you are to if you are to uh, if I'm to ask how many percent of your business volume is for export? Uh, it's just a, a little. Uh, Say fifty percent. No, not business? yet. Ah, not so yet. More, thirty uh, percent. Oh, that's good enough for the start. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so because of your vocation that you had really had seen the beauty or you're a living testimony of how uh -huh. uh, an individual could really prosper from your vocation. You know? mm -hmm. So that is what you're doing now for Rotary. Yes. That's your passion. Yes, that's my passion. <laughs> so maybe you can tell, ano yung mga communities na na-reach out mo na for this uh, kind of project? Well, from in your in your... Uh, my very own church. Yeah, uh -huh. in your church, the Church, church of, of God. God. Makati, yeah. Yeah. We had... Uh, Flower arrangement, yeah, we did powder flower making, uh, candle making. Yeah, we did it all together. All like together. It, that was 